Daddy, 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 tails. All right. What's good, y'all? This looks like, this angle looks like, like a reality show confession booth. <laughs> Love Island, even though I've never seen it. All right, look, I ain't gonna hold y'all. This week past was a rough one. First of all, let's get back into it. All right, Tally Tales is going to be my adjusting to life, new life, new residency in Tallahassee. All right, I am jammed. What's the really good? Um, I just got done grading my first assignment um, for my TA ship. That's teacher's assistantship for my online theater course. It's like completely online. Um, for this assignment, students uh, were to upload a video, less than 60 seconds, answering five basic questions, name, pronouns that they used, AKA how they'd like to be addressed via communication, um, hometown major, and a question. And I was inspired to record a little Tally Tales. I don't think I recorded one all last week. And because of what I confessed in the beginning of this video, which was this week was rough, like, okay, and so let's frame that now, like rough as in just another week. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think I just, you know, I, this is going on week three or week, I'm going into week three, week, yeah, of just being here in Tallahassee. And I think a lot of um, the big eyeballs I think a lot of that went away and like life just started to life and it all has to do with profit it all has to do with financial aid it all has to do with it's the two pursuit give me the loot give me the loot now i am not one to complain i thugged it out and so how i want to bring it to the forefront aka presenting it like why am i broadcasting not to complain not to bitch i don't do that but what i do do <laughs> is call things out in terms of what doesn't work and the potential and the possibilities of what could happen in its place. What I've been hearing since I've gotten here, whether it's financial aid, whether it's parking permits, whether it's getting your ID, I've always been hearing the same thing. The system is slow. Here we go. Now, I'm not blaming the workers. These are just everyday people who need to pay their bills. This is just a job. They're representing this anthropomorphized system that we all talk about. We always talk about it. We always talk about the system. We always talk about the man. But specifically, and I've heard it three times since being here, the system is slow. The system is slow. The system is slow. Well, speed it up. It's one thing giving our time. Just to anything, but let me make it more specific, like giving our time to being on our phones, AKA, or in being more in depth, more example, in depth example is having to wait. Now, sometimes, you know, the waiting line, sometimes it'd be hitting. But where are all the workers? <laughs> Where's everybody at? All right, like we, we can call this post pandemic time. You know what I mean? We are four years post uh, the biggest shutdown that a lot of folks have seen in our lifetime. We are past that. Y'all not hiring more people to be on a call, on a call center? No. So always hearing that we're short-staffed and that the system is slow. We'll speed it up. You have thousands of thousands of students processing. I get it. But this is a game that we've been playing for a very long time. Let's think of the Civil Rights Act. Let's think of the foundation of the financial aid department. It's making me want to do my research. Ooh, making me want to do my research about just the formation of these things. And I've just been saying this like um, just as a natural observation, you know, when we were permitted access to these institutions, a lot of things switched up, curriculum specifically switched up. You know, the universities are no longer encouraging Galileo's and Albert Einstein's, no. You know, when we, were permitted in, in gaining access into these institutions, we were learning a lot of 
everyone's, not a lot of, folks' intellectual properties, their templates, their curriculums that we pay through borrowed money to learn, to regurgitate, to embody so that we can go into the job market well-equipped. Y'all mean to tell me that this system ain't, 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 ain't sped up yet? Come on now. Now, I get it. I get it. You got thousands of students processing all the information at the same time. Get the get, get a faster processor. Where are my computer engineer folks at? Get, get a micro, uh, the fast, quicker processor, cleaner, quicker picker-upper. Come on, stop playing with people's time. So going back to it, it was rough. You know what I mean? Like, I thugged it out. You know what I mean? It just reminded me of everything that, or most things. I want to make it everything because it's really not everything. It just reminded me, you know, just having to wait, having to, I have to call and tell people my situation. I almost expect for folks to look up everyone's individual case by case. Now, I don't know anything yet about it, but this is just an offering, what I'm offering. Ultimately, everything is working out. You know what I mean? Like, I'm no longer coming from that space. I'm working it out even through broadcasting right now, which is a huge part of why I'm even doing this vlog. Um... So everything is everything worked out. It just made me think, you know, being on the other side and not really knowing how these systems are formed. Where are the feedback forms? Where are the board meetings for these types of things? Because this is something that can affect not only myself, it can affect our emotional well-being. And that's something that, you know, a byproduct of the system does with its material. It affects our emotional well-being. It makes us do strange things for pieces of change. Now, not me. But you know what I mean? So that was my week. And um, I don't think I broadcasted myself last week. I was really out in these streets. You know what I mean? I was um, kind of like taking the rose colored glasses off a little bit. I'm still as bright eyed and bushy tailed as ever. Just this past week was more, um, I'm here. You know what I mean? Like, all right, I'm here. I'm me and I'm here. Then kicking off with Labor Day, having a day to not be shit. Um, just really allow me to be here instead of being put on. Now, don't get me wrong. I love being put on. I love back straight, grind set. Gets me off my ass. But it was just one of those days that I didn't necessarily have to do that. And I felt more here. You know what I mean? I felt more multifaceted instead of just coming in with that one track mind, you know? Because I'm not only here to get this degree. I'm here to live my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, I have an opportunity and I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity to change my life. These degrees changed my life. I'm obtaining another degree that's going to change my life. And I'm here for a good chunk of my life. So, you know, all of this is happening in real time. I'm making it my business to broadcast at least once a day. Um, whether informative, educational, funny, any of that. I'm going to just be me. In, her in herps. <laughs> in herps that my work changes me. And I'll get into that topic um, another time. And that's just something I was thinking about, you know, like folks who, who put out theories, who put out intellectual properties that can then be digested up by other folks, like religion, like mathematics, like science. How can that work change you? How can that work help you? So this is my attempts to do that. Um, you know, this in my setup, my home office setup, all right? Please admire this, <laughs> you know what I mean? Please admire this. If you see this, if you make it this far into the video, put a picture frame in the comments because this, this took a lot of masonry, okay? It took a lot of masonry, it took a lot of tools and it took a lot of trigonometry and mathematics and ruler, the, the mental crafting. It took a lot of that just to get it like this. Whoo, it took hammer now but yeah so i'm um, gearing up for the next phase and i'm gonna cap it off at 10 minutes and i you know as with most things having a um a kind of main message you know what i mean letting the work what it is that you're invested in change you what can it do for you and then ultimately you know what i mean having that moment kid in a candy store big eyes moment and then realizing that we're here to do more than just our one track mind and if you're willing to allowing those moments to help fuel you to move you forward as well and change 
I am Jam. <laughs> Jam, I am the street scholar. And this is Tunny, 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 Tunny Tale. Hold up, I got the theme song. Ah, 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 ah. And I'm out. Five, four, three,